Local community is grieving the loss of a young man. Former Penn Trafford baseball star McLean Mac Mon died over the weekend in a car crash. Jennifer Barrasso is live at Seton Hill University where Mac was a freshman. Jennifer. That's right, Ken. Well, we talked to Max, baseball coach here at Seton Hill. He said his teammates are just devastated. They're too distraught to talk. They are in a fog, he said. He would have played in the field behind me. Now, earlier we talked to Penn Township's police chief about what happened, this accident. He said they're still trying to figure that out. There was some water on the road. 18-year-old McLean Mond, known as Mac, was a star baseball pitcher for Penn Trafford High School. And this year, he was getting ready to play baseball for Seton Hill University. But that will never happen. Mac died in a car crash on the way to see his girlfriend, Penn Township Police Chief John Otto. I don't see anything unique to this highway. The temperature is above 40 degrees on the day of the accident. There's some, some water that, that ponds on the highway. Chief Otto says on Saturday, just after noon, Mac was driving west on Route 130 between Jeanette and Harrison City when for some reason he lost control of his Acura. He ended up sideways in the opposite lane and his car was struck by a pickup truck. So you have two vehicles traveling, you know, at a speed that when they collide, lots of things are happening. The police chief says the driver of the pickup truck was injured but will survive. First responders did everything they could to save Mac. Our first responders, who are incredible at what they do, including our paramedics, were there very quickly. Um, they got things moving as fast as they possibly could and transported him to a trauma center just as quick as they could. Um, it just it didn't work out in a way that any of us would have hoped. And last night here at Seton Hill, we're told that students and the community attended a packed memorial service for Mac. We're told he was an only child. His parents are devastated. And coming up at 6, you'll hear more reaction from his coaches. Reporting live in Greensburg, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.